Hey team, it's Daniel again with Brazos Valley Boards and Varmints. So this is my gun room and I made a huge mistake in here at my gun bench right over there. And usually what happens is after a outing with any of my gear, my stuff just gets thrown on the bed right there. I've got a nightstand with the power plug there and I've got other stuff that I just scatter out over here. And let me show you what I did wrong. I was so just heartbroken. I was, my gut just dropped at what I did. I had my PVS 14, you know, just regular standard Gen 3, um, nothing super fancy. It's green. Um, the, it's not auto gated. It's not auto focused. None of that stuff. Um, I had this thing with these bright lights. One, two, three just sitting right here with the lens off of it pointed at something over there I'm not really sure exactly what it was but it burned an image because I accidentally left this thing turned on with the lens cover off for hours like five hours and then I went and I looked at the thing and I saw the green flash like it's on like, oh no so I hurried up, turned it off, like it now that made a big difference, right? And so I turned it back on again at night and I went and I looked through it and there was this ghosted image in there that was glaringly obvious and it was horrible. It was just horrible. It was it was so obtrusive, it was dang near almost non functional. I mean it was just, it was bad. Well, I got a buddy named Homer that knows a lot more about night vision than I do. And I called him up and I was just, just heart sunk. And I told him what happened and he said, hey, get you a Pelican case, pop that thing open, throw it inside of there with it turned on with the auto gate all the way up to high and burn a blank image into it. He said it may take one or two times to actually do that, throw a fresh battery in there, burn, you know, just, Auto gate all the way up, leave it in the box. It'll take a couple days for the batteries to die. Um, and so that's what I did. And the batteries died. I put a new battery in it, turned it back on. It was a little bit better, um, but it was still there. So I did it again. Better, but still there. Did it again. I did it for a week. And finally, this thing got to where it's a whole lot better. If I'm inside of here, like looking at a flat wall, then I can still see it. But if I'm actually outside with this thing, looking around, just running it like you're supposed to, you don't even notice it. I say that, like I know it's there, and if I hand it off to somebody else, they may notice it's there, but I didn't have to spend hundreds, if not a thousand bucks plus, to get this thing fixed. I don't know exactly what it would take to get it fixed, but my buddy Homer, took uh, my horrible situation, gave me some really good, simple, and cheap advice, just cost me a couple of double A's, and really saved my butt here. And so, Homer, thank you so much. So guys, here's my iPhone looking straight into the PVS-14. The blemishes were not caused by any of this, but if you notice, as I kinda scan it across this sheet, on that left hand side you can see that there's an up and down line and there's a few other markings where it's like yeah something's in there but if you're outside running around it's it you really can't tell Let me, let's go do that right now so guys exact same thing this is my front yard you can see the shooting steel just right there by them trees there's huggy the hunting buggy its trailer and there's the shed with the Suzuki Samurai and the RV. Who's a good boy? Yeah, see, no autofocus. But anyways, like, as you're looking through here, you can't really... I mean, there's a little bit of that burn in. I mean, obviously, blemishes are there, um, but that wasn't caused by this. There's a little bit of the burn in. But if you're out looking around, it's not really impeding at all. So this has been a great fix. 
Now, guys, Homer actually runs a small business in town, and his shop is actually called Bliss, B-L-I-S-S. -S. It is a shop that's dedicated to helping folks be better prepared to handle life-threatening emergencies by serving as a resource for quality equipment and training. They offer like a whole variety of products and stuff that they do, services to make taking charge of your own personal security literally as simple as possible. Everything from firearms, accessories, soft gear, medical supplies, um, whether we're talking LTC or emergency medical classes, um, their website is being updated very frequently. It's a great place to start if you want more information about them. It's got their telephone number on there. Um, it, stuff from everything with firearms, personal protection, and any additional classes or custom work. Like they do some uh, Cerakote and, and some laser engraving as well. I'm going to get them to do some work on my mags. Now he's not, like I'm not sponsored by him. I'm going to pay you know full price because he's my buddy, you know, like I want his business to do well. So if you've got some like gun stuff that may not fit the regular gun store niche and you're right here in the Brazos Valley, Bryan College Station area, go check them out. Homer and his, and his entire crew that works there has been absolutely amazing every single time I go in there. Guys, if y'all ever run into an issue like that where you accidentally burn an image in, don't freak out and let's try an option where you don't immediately have to spend hundreds of dollars to get this thing fixed um would it be worth it to get it fixed i don't know you know it's up to you i'm not gonna get this one fixed it's it still works perfect it works great um i say perfect it, it works wonderfully it's still there a little bit just a little bit but if you're moving around You don't even really notice it. And that's not me trying to like just justify it to make, my feel, make myself feel better about my own decision and the equipment that I'm going to run. No, I mean like you, you, you use it and it, it works. So Homer, thank you so much. You saved me. I don't know how much money on getting this thing fixed and slash or the whole tube replaced. I don't even know. But thank you, buddy. And guys, if y'all live in this area, y'all do anything with business in this area, go check out his business every time that i have popped into his little shop it's a different place it's a odd place compared to what you're used to walking into but those guys are more than willing to help you out show you what they got and teach you a lot of different things that you just wouldn't have thought of that's going to make you work a lot better homer thank you man guys y'all keep getting out there eradicating those varmints and hand bushing those hogs Keep being awesome. Bye. And turn your dang PBS 14 off when you're done. Bye.